Hi guys, today we're in my basement with um, our homemade seed starting kit box. Yes. We're going to show you everybody how to make a seed starting box by themselves with just some materials. We've tried some different ones throughout the years and we've always wanted to try to make our own just because it seems yeah. like it should be a lot easier. And This one here is the perfect seed starter we could find. So I think anybody can do this and we just wanted to show you the materials yeah. that we need, right? You don't need this big of a box. You just right. need a plastic one. Right. Um, it doesn't have to be this ones, tall. Yeah, this right. tall. It, uh -huh. we, it would be good if it's this long. Yeah. If you, if you want to um, like start a few of them. That's right. Okay. And so we wanted to show you, first of all, we have already started some plants just to show you that they actually does work. And here's a couple of early tomatoes and then everybody pumpkin. this time of year you need to be thinking about starting your pumpkin test. You want to make sure everything works good so now's the yep. perfect time to do this. This so. isn't the real pumpkin we're going to be looking right. or um, growing once you right. grow but uh, it's just a it's just a test. test. Yeah. A test. Yeah. You want to make sure that your seeds are good so we this is our seed from our 1176 Marenser from last year yeah, the last Kansas year. record and it sprouts and works and then we wanted to show you the materials that you need so the first thing is a plastic box a clear one you can get this anywhere it doesn't have to be this big they can be a lot smaller as far as height wise but you need as it to be this long as long as you have a, a plant like a mm -hmm. plant um, container that has your container can like, fit your container can fit right. without like getting mm -hmm. smushed second thing you'll need is a seed mat the heating mat, and so you put that in at the bottom, right? And then what else do we need, Kay? Um, this thing, uh, a tray, like with. Yep. And what does um, it have in there? Um, it's got a little water mat, so you can like put it, your it water on keeps here. the water inside, yep. but it doesn't like just let it go. So you put that in next, uh huh. And then what's the next thing that we use here? Um, we use. Nope. Uh, a thermometer thing like what you stick in your chicken to see how hot it gets because you Any, want it to be about around um, room temperature 70 some degrees 70 some, yeah. so we like to put the little thermometer in there just somewhere that you'll be able to read it so you know how warm it like is if in you here. try to read it from that way you can't see but if you yep. read it from that way you can yep and then the next thing that you're going to want to do is we take our water and we pour the water into our mat just like that. So like when we gets it good and soaked up. When that heat max gets going, it will go up, and then we'll have something over here, and then it'll get it knocked down, and then it'll water our plants. That's right. So there we go. And then we also got our little trays. And Cave, you can put a couple of seeds in there for us. He's gonna got, try a couple. I'm gonna try some radishes. These are tomatoes. We already tried some radishes, but um, the 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 they, we already planted them in our greenhouse. Yep. So we're going to have early radishes. Yep. And then the other thing we always like to do again, we get our seeds. And these here, if you can see that, they've got little white tips on them. They're not our best seeds. So we just put them in here. I don't mind putting a couple. Generally, you're never going to want to put two in one. But this but, here. Yeah, this is just our test. And this, isn't, this is just straight into the soil. Mm -hmm. He's putting a few of those seeds and then... Take a little bit of your water just so you get the top a little bit damp. You don't want it very wet. Just want it a little damp. Just so they'll sprout. Just so they'll sprout. Because we already have some water in here that will, will, will make it wetter too. Yep. You set it in there. And then watch it. Oh wait. Not and yet. then what do we got here? Some saran wrap. Where do we put this? On top. And what's that for? Two, two things on it so it will, like once the water goes up, it won't just go out and, and then... It doesn't then evaporate, yeah, right? it won't just go out and evaporate. It will get stuck on here and it will go back down. Now that falls down, so what do we do for that? We put some tape on it. Yep, get you a little piece of duct tape, right? Yep, and we put it on here, 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 and there, and there. Uh -huh. So then it will okay. all... It will all be straight so it won't just be sagging like that. You don't want it to sag, right? OK, 
Kate's going to give me a couple of pieces of tape real quick here. Okay. Are you good, buddy? Make sure it's nice and tight. Last one here. Okay. Maybe a little one right here. Last time we did. Yep, put it right there. Tiny we'll put a couple more and then you get another piece of saran wrap and you're going to do the same thing with that one. You're going to tape it all down. Make sure it's long enough. And make sure it like sticks on here so like all the water doesn't just escape. Yep. Makes you the greenhouse effect, right bud? Yeah, just like our greenhouse. There you go. You put them on like that. There you go. There's the finished product. It's okay. We'll get that. Put that on there, pieces of tape, and then the last thing you need to make sure you have is some grow lights. They don't have to be like this, just um, some lights. You some well, good lights. The good grow lights, they have a bulb that doesn't get everything hot. You put it right underneath there, and we also have a window in our basement that allows light in. Yeah, so it's not just it's not just real light from here, yep. it's actual the actual sun too. And there you go. That's how you make your own personal greenhouse little grow little kit. Grow box. Yeah, germination chamber, right? Yep. All right. Bye. See you guys. Watch Bye.